What's going on everybody, College Lefty Gaming, and in this video I'm going to be going over some content that's going to be dropped tomorrow around 3 p.m. Eastern Time. I hope you guys enjoy. So a few Sony partners tweeted out and then MLB The Show Tips retweeted those tweets regarding these new players that are coming out tomorrow, and that's uh, Friday, September, September 28th, and it should be about 3 p.m. Eastern, but uh, you never know, it could be a little bit earlier than that, it could be a little bit later. But uh, this first card, Francisco Rodriguez, looks pretty good. His uh, his walks per nine is a little low. His control is a little low. But uh, his pitches are good, are pretty good. Not that many relievers have a sweeping curve. So his clutch will be high as well. So he'll be a very good card. But it's probably some of these other cards I'll be more excited to use than this one. But uh, with 34 stamina, definitely a good uh, relief pitcher to have. This next card, Edgar Martinez, postseason, is a very good card. Has some decent power versus both sides. It's got 84 and 91. Is very usable with 88 vision, high discipline, high clutch. This Edgar Martinez was a very good card last year as well. He had arguably some of the best hitting stats in the game, but the swing gave him some top spin. But it uh, doesn't have the best fielding there. I wouldn't use him at third base personally, but uh, bench bat for sure. I saw him in uh, MLB The Show Tips tweet that they did say that they focused on um, some guys that got nerfed on power. They they were more high doubles hitters rather than guys like uh, like this guy who hit more homers than doubles, so that's why he has higher power. But in the last year's game, he had higher power. just was based on a different scale. But anyway, I was kind of confused. I'll talk about that a little bit later uh, reading that tweet. But um, this is the Robin Yount, which I'm not very impressed by. He doesn't have enough power. He does have good contact and vision as well as clutch. But this la this card last year was an end game card. It was very usable. But uh, once again, this might have been a case where this card had too much power in last year's game because they weighed doubles and homers uh, equally rather than homers more power. That's what they said about the Jacoby Ellsbury, and they compared it to a card I have not yet showed you, but I am excited to use. But uh, this this Robin Yount does have good fielding, decent speed, 65 is plenty, enough, plenty to, to steal or even leg out an extra base here and there. But the 111 clutch, clutch is going to be great, but uh, I just don't think this card is going to be that gonna be that good i'm not gonna use them i mean the the low power versus le left side is what really uh throws me off there but here's this david freeze card for the cardinals fans he hit a couple clutch homers or uh clutch home run anyway in a cardinal series back in 2011 but this is a, a decent card he doesn't have the best ov overall you know vision to power numbers but definitely a good card to have might be used in an event or something um same thing with that robin yount previously but um, once again, very high clutch. All these postseason cards have really high clutch because even the, even some of these pitchers I'm going to show you because they, they come in in the most crucial spot of the entire year, the postseason, right? And then if they have a big hit, like this guy hit a three-run homer, I'm pretty sure to win to win a game. I forget against exactly which series, but I'm not. I'm pretty sure that, uh, yeah, he deserves 100-something clutch. I mean, he came in and had a huge hit late in the game. This Koji Uihara is going to be one of the best relievers in the game. He's definitely going to be a top four relief pitcher. I want our closing pitcher. I'm definitely going to get this card. If you look, I mean, he's got the splitter. He's got a slow curveball. He's he's a 95 overall in this year's game. That's might as well be an immortal. Look at those per nines. He's got 118, 112 with 98. He's got good control, good clutch, and uh, 99 break, which is probably be on that splitter. So this will be one of the best cards. One of the best closers in the game will probably be going for the most. Uh, some of these cards will be in packs. Some of these cards will be in a program. I'm not sure. They didn't really mention how they, these cards would be unlocked all the way. But I'm definitely excited to get my hands on this guy somehow, some way. I will try to do that because this card is going to be amazing. I'm looking to get him and that Dennis Eckersley soon enough. And uh, that should round out my bullpen a little bit nicer than it is right now. But this card and then this next card right here, this Jim Edmonds I'm about to show is unbelievable. 97-99 with 74-94 with 42 vision. Every other stat is a five. He's a five to a player. I mean, 60 speeds more than enough. It's not. It's not elite, but it's definitely enough speed to, to get a, even a double here and there, triple, steal a base. With 35 speed, you're going to get thrown out. But he does play outfield and first base, so that's awesome. He's gonna. He's gonna be a great bench bat as well. Uh, late in game, put him out there for a defensive replacement. No big deal. 
Um, this card was an amazing to watch. I remember watching in 2000. Um, he had one of the best postseasons I've ever seen. And this is the other card that they mentioned in comparison as to where he had a lot of home runs rather than, I mean, in a short period of time to the postseason. So he's going to have a lot of power rather than someone like Jacoby Ellsbury who had a bunch of doubles that season where in years past he had 90-plus power, but the doubles weighed differently than home runs. I don't know. But this card I'm kind of disappointed in, honestly. He's a very good card, don't get me wrong. But this card was one of, was my favorite card to use, as well as 99 Vita Blue in last year's game. This Oral Hershiser was a 99, and he's a very good pitcher. I uh, just thought his, his stats would be a little bit better, to be honest. Um, even though it is a 92 overall, he does have great per nines. I do want to try this card out as well. I was just hoping for an overpowered Oral Hershiser. I thought he might actually get an Immortal card. I was wrong about that, but he does get his postseason card in the game, which is awesome. I just think they could have went with another Immortal starting pitcher. With this guy, I'm not sure if uh, other people would agree with that. But anyways, he is in the game. Um, I'm hoping that that leaves uh, maybe a, uh, an unknown pitcher later on, which will be a, a surprise for us. I think that would be pretty awesome to see. But uh, I definitely am excited to try some of these cards out, guys. I will be live streaming tomorrow. Just got so much stuff going on. I was not able to live stream tonight. But I will be live streaming this update tomorrow, and I am excited to do that. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys in tomorrow's video live stream. Peace out.